How much Amharic do I know? Kekenyaneng, food, ebelele, 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 and the good. But I will dance to it. I like how happy he is. He's smiling while singing the song. I'll admit, I honestly do not know what is going on during the song at all. I'm gonna say this. First of all, guys, subscribe to the channel if you like the content, find if you find it interesting. Hello guys, my name is Maingi. Now I'm gonna react to the second video of today. I'm still wearing the same shirt, so I'm not gonna say the second video. I'm gonna cut that part out. Okay, anyways, today I'm gonna react to a, an Ethiopian song that I was supposed to react to last year, but I just left it out of my list of music videos to react to. That's what I'll call them. The song's name. The song's name is. The song's name. Let's start with the song name. The song's name is. La Geba. La Geba New by Gildo Casa. Gildo Casa. Who's Gildo Casa? I do not know who Gildo Casa is. But I bet. You know, always when I start reviewing the songs by these artists, I end up just finding a lot of information of, on them as, as I go along. Because, like, I review the songs and then YouTube suggests. All these videos to me that are really like related to whatever. I have never reacted to an Ethiopian song. Not ever, not once. Uh, I did want to do it, but then uh, my kind of most of my time, most of my videos of of late, they've been just food videos. So right now, I promise everyone, I'm gonna try to upload at least one reaction video every week. Um, I'm gonna mainly focus on songs from East Africa or Greater East Africa. East Africa. I, I term East Africa as members of the East African community. So Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, South Sudan. And then Greater East Africa, just think of it as the wider region. It includes Somalia, Ethiopia, Djibouti, if there are any Djiboutian songs, if there are any Eritrean songs. Congolese songs is also, Congo is also part of East Africa because they apply for the East African community membership. Anyways, I'm not going to talk about politics. I am not going to talk about politics. Okay. Lageba new. I do not know the meaning of Lageba. I do not know who Gildo Kasa is. We've covered that. But then what do I know about Ethiopia? I know uh, that Ethiopia is home to about 100 million people. The capital is Addis Ababa. Ethiopia is divided to... Ethiopia is um, divided into a, a bunch of federal regions. I do not know how many. Maybe 11, if I remember correctly. Um, you have Oromo region. You have Benchagumuz, is, is, that, is that a place? You have Gambela, if that's a place, if I remember. It's Amhara, Tigray, Romia, Amhara, Tigray, Somali, um, Afar, Harar. Harar is a special region, something like that. Uh, there are others in the west, southwest of the country that I've completely forgotten about. Mm. I don't know the rest. I know those are the major ones. That's that. Ah, okay. What else do I know about Ethiopia? Um, Ethiopia is home to so much ancient history. Um, you have you have the ancient rock hewn churches, the ancient carving churches in the ground in Lalibela. You have the castle complex at Gondar. Gondar is in Amhara region. Lalibela is in Amhara region as well. You have the ruins at in Tigray region. They're called the Ax no Aksum, Ax Aksum. I think that's in Tigray. That's in northern Ethiopia. That's where you had the recent fighting. I'm going to talk about that a bit later. Um, you can you you have what do you also have? Ethiopia is home to lots of lots of ancient history, and then you have the deepest point in Africa. I think it's known as um, the Lal. The Lal, is it in a far region? That's where, or, no no the Danakil Depression. Danakil Depression, uh, or the Lal. The Lal is also somewhere important that I don't know the context of. Okay, the highest point in Ethiopia is Ras Dashen. It's in Amhara region, if I remember correctly, again, again, if I remember correctly. Um, what else, what else? Origin of the Nile. The Blue Nile contributes to the most waters of the Nile. The Blue Nile's origin is in Ethiopia, from Lake Tana. That's in 
around the city called Bahirdar. Bahirdar is in Amhara region. Amhara region is close to... It includes cities like Gondar as well. I don't know what the largest city in Amhara region is. But then, yeah. So, what do we know about Ethiopian history? So, you know, uh, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. Okay, Ethiopian history summary. It's like this. You had the loss of kings. And then you have the Battle of Adwa, which is one of the first major victories for an African nation against European colonialists or imperialists, however you want to term it. Uh, that was, I think the king was Menelik, uh, if I remember correctly. There was the Italian occupation. And then there was, there was the Mengitsu era where lots of people died. There was famine. That, that was the communist government in Ethiopia. And then Mengitsu was overthrown by the TPLF. And that's where... Um, and then right somewhere after that, that's where Ethiopia split. Eritrea split from Ethiopia. There was a bloody war, if I remember correctly. And then that's where the TPLF took over Ethiopia. Somewhere before the war, that civil war, or after it. Um, yeah, the TPLF took over. And then... You have today thing ethiopia is is actually you know super diverse lots and lots of cultures going all together meshing all together and ethiopia is also home to it has a lot of ancient history so if people actually do have time yeah they should look up these facts you know or maybe visit the country i guess um i i, I i'm actually really thinking of visiting ethiopia um soon when I can, I will do it. And then I'll just go there, check it out, see how things go happen in Addis and Gondar. And maybe Lalibela. Okay, I'm just gonna dive into the song so that I could just finish up fast so that I still have light. You know, light's important for these videos. Okay, now I have a new screen recording and I press record. Okay, so now I'm gonna start watching the song in three, Two, one. Minel Shewa. Moisa. Moisa pictures. Salama. In Swahili, Salama can mean safe or it can mean greetings. So, uh, no, Salama can mean, yeah, peace. Peace. Salama can actually mean peace or greetings. You know? Yeah. It's derived from Arabic, I think. Jalokasa. I like this. It starts off. This part is good. Lagaba. Okay, the beat is super interesting. Uh, it sounds. Is it like reggaeton? Uh, or is it me that's confused?
<laughs> and look how happy he is. He's smiling while singing the song at about 2 minutes 20 seconds from there. I'll admit, I honestly do not know what is going on during the song at all. Lots of pictures, lots of things happening. There's a wedding, they're in a shop buying clothes. <laughs> But I will dance to it. And the song is over. Thank you, Akalokasa, Yoe 2. Lots of things going on in the background. Minashewa 2. Okay, so the song's done. The song is done. It was good. That was exciting, actually. You know, the song got recommended. Somebody recommended that I react to it like a while, while back. I did not. I didn't even bother with it because I thought it would be. I don't know. I just. I honestly just didn't want to do it, but this isn't bad. Hmm? It, it's kept me entertained. Uh, I don't understand the language. Um, how good is my Americ? Uh, I can read Americ characters. Just some of them. I know how M is written. I know how W is written. Me no. Oh. Yo, I can actually... I can actually read this. Wa. This is Wa at the end. Shewa, I can. Oh my God, my my theo, <laughs> Oh my God, I can actually read some of the characters. Okay, so I learned a bit of, uh, Amharic a while back. Uh, ah, Gildo Casa. Oh, Gildo Casa. Whoa, the characters. Okay, so I want to show you guys. I can read the characters. So first of all, I'm gonna show off. I can write my name in her Amharic. I practiced this before I got here. Uh, because like, you know, that's... Uh, my... Mm, my Indy. In Amharic, in these scripts. And so I can read what Gildokasa is on the... I can actually read what Gildokasa is on the screen. Because I learned it a while back. So I'm gonna show this off. I, I promise we're gonna do the reaction in a minute. Uh, I know how to write in Amharic, as you can see. My name's right there, and then Gildokas is right there. How much Amharic do I know? Uh, I know Kekenyaneng. I know. Uh, I can say the food was good. Food, Ebelela, 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 and the good. Uh, I can say I learned a bunch of things. I learned a bit of Amharic. Is it Salam? Salamka? Salam? I don't know. Something like that. Uh, I don't know. I don't speak that much, I'm hearing. Anyways, back to the song. The song was good. 
good execution. I do not know anything that's going on. But I could tell that people are happy and they're just dancing and they're enjoying themselves. They're shopping. There's a wedding. Uh, maybe it's this guy with a story with a bunch of different people with their stories with their relationships, maybe. It's always about relationships, I guess. Um, and they're doing well. Everybody's all there being happy. They're doing well. They're happy. And, and, and that, all that. Huh? There's actually not much to say about the actual song. Not much criticism. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go La Geba. Lyrics. And then I'm going to translate the lyrics. Let's see. My heart lo loves you. Good luck, my dear. Yeah, it's about... Yeah, it's actually about love, getting married. I see a lot of talk about Eve, Sarah, and Abraham. So, a lot of stuff, references from the Bible, actually. Uh, yes, I, I, I do know my, my Bible classes, or as they call them in East Africa, Christian Religious Education CRE classes. And yeah, this is mostly what the song's about. The song, the execution was good though. It kept it kept me entertained and even though I didn't understand the lyrics, it was good. It was entertaining. Whoever who asked me to react to the song, like, really, thank you. And I'm really, really sorry it took so long to react to an Ethiopian music video. Really, I am. Um, next time I'll try to react to these videos as soon as they are recommended to me. What else do I have to say? I have to say that... Mm, oh yeah, the, the, the artist himself, he met all the requirements. And he met a lot of the requirements um, by singing in his own language. Of course, you've paid homage to your own culture, to your heritage, which is always really important for me. I always prefer, I always prefer songs where, where an artist sings in there local language i'm not saying local 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 language uh, like in ethiopia there are very many local languages i'm saying something like the national language that everybody can understand or people in addis or the language which people in the capital can understand but then also songs uh, that's complicated for example in kenya i would say some uh, swahili in tanzania swahili in uganda is it luganda in the drc it could be lingala or swahili um what else that's pretty much it thanks guys thanks guys for viewing this reaction video the song's name is lageba you lageba 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 and that artist's name is gildo casa yo i gotta show off my skills i saw this and i was able to read it off the thing that's how you know you know you gotta you guys like if there's a script an african script to write learn how to read amharic script and like share and subscribe to the channel guys subscribe 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 to the channel like okay i'll say this i look at my analytics and 80 percent of the viewers they don't subscribe they're unsubscribed people only 20 percent of my viewers are actually people who've subscribed to my channel so guys subscribe to the channel like share and subscribe to it lots and lots of lots of great content on ethiopian music on maybe ethiopia itself on Kenya, on Tanzania, and food from these places, music from these places. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make lots of content on that. So like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to your channel.